welcome to another Ultimate Gameplay Camera tutorial. In this one, we'll show you how to possess characters in runtime using UGC with Unreal versions 5.5 and above. For this demo, we'll place the second character in the map and we'll be using the level blueprint. First, let's see what happens if you try to flip-flop possess two characters using standard UE functions. Other than the fact that the camera jumps between characters, we can see that this works fine. But what if you want different camera settings on each character? You'll notice that the camera properties bend in and out whenever we possess a character. Let's use the set target view with blend function to interpolate the camera between the two characters and see what that does. You'll notice that the camera will blend after the interpolation finishes, which is odd. The new UGC update for versions 5.5 and above offers a way to deal with all of these issues. First of all, let's create an event to clean the code. Whenever we want to possess a character using UGC, we need to call the prepossess function on the UGC player camera manager before blending the view targets in possess in and the post possess function afterwards. 
This will make sure that the camera interplays directly into its correct position. We can see that something is so blended in after positioning the character. A quick look at the deep text on the top left showed that it's the FOV. This is because the two camera data assets have incompatible FOV ranges, which forces the FOV to blend. We can fix this by using the same pitch limits and FOV ranges in, the bo in both data assets. Here, I'll recreate the data assets with the correct values. We can notice that something is still blended. This is caused by the fact that the camera spring arm is so long that it collides with the ground. Rest assured that this bug is fixed in the newest update, and we left it here to demonstrate just how fickle a gameplay can reckon be. For general purposes, let's pull back the second character to avoid the collusion. You can see now that it's all working fine. 
You can also make it that the camera properties blend after possessing by checking the Blend Spring Arm Properties box. If you want the camera rotation to stay the same after possessing, you can check the match camera rotation box, but you should not use set to target with blend at the same time. Please note that if you have different pitch limits on the two data assets, you will notice slight blending since the pitch affects FOV and camera arm length when using the pitch FOV and arm length modifier. And that's all there is to know. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop by the Discord server or send us an email. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your long continued support over the years.